back left, Michael. John, what, what do you do about the, the bench and the lack of scoring? Who's back left. Did we just win? <laughs> you know, I was asked a great question one time. We had won a game, and the guy says to me, do you know their bench outscored your bench by 23? And I said, yeah, my starters outscored their starters by 40. How about that? Uh, you know, all I'm trying to do is I want guys, like today, PJ had a spirit about him. He had a spirit about him. He had a confidence about him. He, he let the game come. He did. There was no tentativeness to how we play. I've been waiting for a year and a half for that. And I told him, he had one stretch where he fumbled a rebound, they kicked it out and made a three. He had another play, another play, back to back to back, boom, you're out. You're not doing that here. And, but he ends up, I got this. He said, I'm gonna get nine more rebounds in the second. He had nine rebounds at halftime and I'm mad he didn't have 12. Think about what I'm saying, at halftime. Reed, we're, we're just learning. Nick had five blocks, but he couldn't come up with offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds, which means you can't play in this game because that's how we were going to win. I thought EJ was good. Keldon, a double-double, played good. Um, Tyler didn't make shots, but I thought played well because now he's defending and rebounding. He doesn't have to make shots every time. <coughs> Ashton and Emmanuel play well. I mean, Jamal played well. I thought Jamal defended and missed that one shot. But the game was, I was just trying to get out of the gym. At that point, if, you know, if someone did get a whole lot of minutes, I'm not going to guess at that point. But he's fine. Back of Cowan, uh, early on at the very beginning of the game, it seemed like Reed was doing that thing where he's trying to crank the ball down and, and yeah, be hesitant. Yeah, yeah. Ah. You, do you say something to flip the no, switch? No, I don't say anything. I say, I tell people. him, keep doing it. Yes, I say something. I say it in practice. I say it over and over and over. But he's played that way for how many years? And now he comes with us. He's been here three months. And he reverts when the stuff gets going. And he brings the ball down, he gathers, and he can't get it off. But you saw him play at his best when he fights for rebounds and quick jumps. And you look and say, why didn't he play like that all the time? Because as the game, there's a game slippage, he reverts a little bit. Um, but it's nice that we have EJ and Nick, because when he reverts, we can play one of those guys. John, it looked like about midway of the second half that PJ asked to come out. Is that what you want to see him do, that he plays so hard yeah. to ace him out and you put yeah. him back in? and I want all of them to do it. I, I, I told Kelvin to start the game. He was jogging up and down the court. When we run, and I mean guys sprint the floor, they got to guard those guys, which means Aston got layups. Or they throw it to them, and they've got an advantage to go score. You can't get that if you jog. Why would you jog? That's your choice, or you're tired. And either one, you're out. You can't. we got to get guys sprinting the court. But let, let me say this, too. We defended. We defended. I mean, we, we guarded and, you know, we gave up some baskets late, but I, I uh, you know, I like what I'm seeing. We out rebounded a good rebounding team. Um, you know, didn't create a whole lot of turnovers, but that's a, a veteran older team. Their point guard, again, for, for Dotson to be a freshman, he's pretty damn good now. I told Ashton at one point, you know, he's a freshman too now, right? Like you just act like, well, he's a freshman too. But, you know, like I said, it was a good win for us. Your yeah, defense in the last six games, all wins, has held the opposition to 61 points or less, uh, field goal percentage, 40% or less. What are some of the things that are happening now that maybe weren't happening before? Well, we're able to guard the ball. When we went to the Bahamas, we could not guard the ball. But we were playing teams that we could run through. When you come back and you can't guard the ball and you're getting smushed, you have no confidence. So now your team looks like a team that has no confidence. When you have defensive confidence, that bleeds into your offense. Now all of a sudden you're looking at a team that, you know, 11 turnovers, 12 turnovers, 10 turnovers, uh, that plays confident at times. And, you know, the only thing that made me mad at halftime, we got, we got guys that either are in the lodge, in class, or in the craft center. They're one of three. They live in the practice facility. They probably take 5,000 shots, maybe more, a week. Why would you be tentative shooting the ball? You deserve to make shots. I told them at halftime. You're a gym rat, you, you, and you go in like tentative. What? You can't be 0 for 8, guys. You don't have to make them all. You just can't miss them all. 
got to make a couple. Second half, we're 4 for 10. That was the difference in the game. If we go 0 for 10 in the second half, we lose the game. But it's this is a good three-point shooting team. That's why I kind of get bothered at times. Again, we're a good post-up team. We're a good driving team. You don't need to rely on just jacking threes. But if you leave us alone, if you trap the post, if you collapse your defense, we're good enough to make those shots. John, Lawson got his numbers, but did you feel like that coming into this thing with the waves that you could throw at them inside that you could control the paint like you guys did? Um, well, I'll tell you what Diedrich is, and I, I've known he and his brother for a long time. Um, he's a relentless player. So how many rebounds did he get on the second and third bounce where everybody else stops and he just keeps going? He has an unbelievable feel to get the ball in the basket. Um, you know, they're playing him around the goal based on they have to. But that kid can shoot threes. He can beat you on the bounce. He can. He is a really, really good player. And we did throw different guys at him. We tried to throw some length at him. Um, Nick had five blocks. Nick played pretty good. But we needed rebounding. We needed someone to get some offense. We couldn't make a shot. We needed those. And that's why Reed played well. But no, he's that good. You know, I thought we defended him pretty good. 20 and 15, and I think we did a pretty good job on it. Samuel, John, now after these three ranked wins in a row, the hype is growing again. How do you think these guys have progressed in dealing with success and, and not letting their foot off the gas? Well, I made a statement, and everybody went crazy. I don't listen to anybody, so I don't really care. But they went crazy about, I said it to my team. I did not say it publicly. When we lost to Seton Hall, I said, I want you to look at that as going one. That should be your mentality, because we are getting better. Then the Auburn game ended, and I said the next day, I want you to look at that game as though we lost. The kid made the bounce. Um, what, does it change? We are getting better. We can't live with results. Why? If you're getting better, live with them. There are things that happen. Flagrant one calls. There are things that happen that are out of your control. Are you getting better individually and as a team? We are. Um, we're making, we're taking that gradual climb. And, and I know, I don't know if it's a people's opinion of what we were or their hope of what we were. Like some people have a hope, it's not an opinion, it's their hope we stick. And that I think played into it early, but how many years have I been here? This is 10? It feels like 22. It's only 10? It's only 10. Time seven, seven years. Seven dog years. Seems <laughs> Jerry on the left. Uh, John, uh, what did you think of the atmosphere, the fan involvement, and all that? I was really good. I thought game day was really good. They said it was one of the best game days they've had. They're never going to be another one where there's 22,000 like we had the first time we came here. I can't remember what year it was. We had 22,000 at game day. These people thought we're all nuts. So today they looked and they said, Coach, this is a big time crowd for us. So, you know, I want to thank the fans. They came in and, and uh, they got their free ice cream. So now we, in three weeks, we have game day again. Maybe. You think so? Maybe, it's not for sure yet. All right, we're, we're going to, I'm going to have our president He's going to give away free scholarships. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you over there, Dr. Captain. I'm from Curtis. Uh, Tyler went over four from deep, but it looked like he was defending really well out there. Yeah, and he rebounded well. Now, he, he still he had two turnovers late, one on a post feed for no reason, and one on a baseline drive when he just should have shot the ball. Uh, but he's still learning. He reverts back to high school at times. He's 19 years old. John, back here. Uh, when you all lost to Duke in the Champions Classic, a lot of people thought, okay, maybe this team was overhyped. Uh, do you think that could end up being a blessing in disguise for what this team's been, been able to do since then? I'd rather learn from a close win than the absolute shellacking that we took. Um, but if it does help us, that's great. But I don't, there's no solace in what happened up there. We got absolutely clubbed by a very good team. On the left, 
Okay. John, you had mentioned the, the 0 for 8 three point shooting in the first half, and Kelvin himself, he had missed a bunch of shots in a row. He got that late basket in the first half. Do you think that did something for his confidence, or was it just a matter of getting better shots out of the offense? I think you have to ask him, but, you know, as a coach, you, you're just, you're challenging him. Like, dude, you deserve to shoot well. So go in and let it fly. And I don't like when guys pass up shots, they ball fake when they're wide open. And the reason they do it, they don't want to take that shot. But then I'm not leaving you in the game. Shoot the ball. You don't shoot that, you ball fake and you drive in and try to do it, I'm taking you out. You were open, why didn't you shoot? Well, I thought, no, you did not want to shoot. You should be confident. You're shooting 6,000, 7,000, 5,000. Shoot the ball. We have that kind of team. Now, I don't want to take 33s. I want us to take between 20 to 23 threes a game. That's plenty. There may be a game we take a few more because we're shooting out of our minds. There may be games where we're at 18 because we're not making shots, or it's better off posting the ball than doing anything else. Um, but this is one of my best, can you imagine this? My best three-point shooting teams. One of the best I've had here. Speaking of confidence, BJ hit four free throws late, kind of impression. Is that good for him, considering what happened to him last year? Mm -hmm. the, the, the option would be bad, but yeah, it's his. I told him he had a different spirit about him. There was no tentativeness. There was no, I'm not sure, but I believe we, we showed he and Kelvin on tape last game flying down the court. I'm telling you, flying. And when we showed the team, I said, You mean you're that fast? You're that fast. You and Calvin are that fast. Well, then why aren't you running like that? And so I think when he plays at a different pace, a different level of intensity, a different level of bouncing and alertness, I'm telling you he's as good as anybody in the country. He is. When he doesn't, he's okay. He's just okay. So that becomes what do you want? And then when you play that way, the hard thing is to live up to that and have to do that all the time, really hard. That's when you become special, where that you, that you thrive in that environment. I'm gonna show everybody every game who I am versus I'm a little tired today, I'm just gonna kinda, well, if you wanna be one of those guys, thrive in that. And, and I was proud of him today. And he did some of it in the second half against uh, Mississippi State. So hopefully he's breaking through right now and I think being in practice against Reed, Nick, and EJ every day, they're all getting better. Every one of them are getting better. All right, thanks, folks. Up Keldon, PJ.